Hey, Francine. Step up to the microphone before you fall asleep. We have Francine in studio. Yeah. For the new listeners, uh, <laughs> we got a treat for you today. <laughs> Francine. Hi, Francine. In studio. Hey, well, guys. Well, we need some news on the program. Yeah. By the way, when we're in Washington, we're going to have Dee Dee doing the news tomorrow and uh, Thursday, I guess. Patty didn't bring any, but at least we have some sweet chocolate here in the studio today. I'll say I'll we say. do. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> I spent all night working on this. You did? Yeah. Wait, you spent all night working on your news. I swear, I didn't sleep. Do you understand that? Oh, my God. We work with just a bunch of dummies. <laughs> we really do. <laughs> it's supposed to be current events? It's supposed to be a, yeah, the news for today. Like news. You don't see the guys that do the 6 o'clock <laughs> broadcast on the news they, having done the news the night before. Working real hard on the news the night before. They so have they to kind of sleep, <laughs> wake up, and read about stuff that happened the day before. You want to be updated with the news. That's the why you do. The news really <laughs> means new. It's things. It's new. Right. It's all the news. That's right. New stuff. Oh. You're, you're you're doing the olds. You know, yeah, you know this that there's the olds broadcast. You know there are people out there that just they're just not familiar with the program yet, and they they're convinced we write this material. They're just convinced that we write this shit. Yeah. News, new, new. It never hit me, new. Oh Jesus <laughs> oh, my Christ! God. Never, are you <laughs> shitting me, Vaughn? I never even put that together. New. Me neither, actually. News, <laughs> new. There are some urban myths that it actually stands for the four points of the compass. Hmm. North, east, west, south, what is covering the entire uh, mm. you know, world, oh. but it actually is just from new news. Forget Ooh. Aristotle <laughs> and talk Socrates, here comes <laughs> Professor <laughs> Anthony. He always amazes, doesn't he, guys? He sure does. A little, knows a little something, something about everything. And we're all too it's dumb to know if he's right or wrong, so we exactly. just nod. Exactly. Just nod and go. Of course that's what My it is. biggest strength. It's new with an S. <laughs> I like it's that. not that he's smart. It's that we're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole northeast, west, and south. Mm, yeah. What yeah. about local news? Would that just be local north, be east, west, well, south? Well, well calling it news was probably long before they got local. And satellite forecast. It was probably just new. Some guy running from township to township. It's with just a piece that. of paper. It's northeast, west, south. It's just that it was new information, and they just called it news. Yeah. What's That's, new? Yeah. What's new today? Well, we're going to get yesterday's news with Francine, I guess, because she worked all night. All night. Pulled an all nighter to get uh, the news report. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. All right. You ready? Wait, what's wrong with your eyes? What's wrong with your eyes, Angel? I said, like, last time it took me a week to write the last one. Yeah. See? This one took me a one night. A week to write the news. <laughs> wow. Yeah. New. God, Elo and the gang in Washington oh. just rolling their eyes going, we really want a news person on your program. That's right. Not these dopes. Now, uh, Francine, I guess we can we can play some music for her. Or a news bed some or news something. news bed, yeah, right. something that's news-like. The typewriter would be good. All right. The typewriter. Not a teletype machine, but the typewriter. typewriter. Isn't that what it is? No, you don't hear a ding, do you? At my house. <laughs> yeah, it was. That was an old typewriter. That's funny. Hey, Mickey that Spillane. Yeah, I like that one. Good. Mm-hmm. Last thing that was typed on that was dodging, and it was misspelled. <laughs> D-O-G-G-I-N-G. Dodging her. Later. <laughs> All right, let's uh, hit the news bed, and uh, and we'll have Francine do the news for us today. All right. Thank you. All right, well, today I'm going to do movie reviews. Oh, my God. Derek is... Oh, Derek wow. is applauding you got to see what Eric happens around here. Screwing up. Everyone, all the uh, underlings. <laughs> there is such competition going on. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Great so timing. Now we're trying to... Just, uh, shut up. They are roaring in there. They are roaring. Like, look, Eric. Look over there. Right. Look. Look, look, look over them. in look the studio. Them. They're come laughing on. at you. Look Not... over at Derek. Eric, come on, look at him. That's Just right. Just look at him. Come on, Derek Just and Eric. Just move your eyes for a second. Look Just at him. <laughs> That's right, Hawk. <laughs> Take your beating. That's right. Oh, the second that sound clip didn't come up, yeah. Derek just starts laughing howling at him. and howling and howling. There's a oh. whole hierarchy thing that's happened. They're all jockeying for position. They were pointing at him, <laughs> clapping and laughing at him like he's a monkey in a cage. <laughs> what happened there, Eric? Why what happened? You? Yeah, Eric, what happened? It just wasn't playing. Right. Oh, it just fault. wasn't playing. Right. All right. See what? 
No one can see. It's radio. What are you doing? We just hear. <laughs> and we hear is no bed. Good. <laughs> and then we called, hear the right? bed come over talking. <laughs> That's right. While Ed's trying to explain something. Then the bed pops up. Uh, let's, uh, All right. I'm sure it'll work now. Yeah, let's play the news teletype thing. And Francine's going to do yesterday's news for today. There we are. If and now the sense. news with Francine. Francine. Okay, well, I'm Wait a minute. What happened there? It's not doing anything. <laughs> Stop right-clicking, you shithead. <laughs> You're not trying to save Target, as. Oh, my God, are they laughing? They, oh, you're going to kill them in there. They can't even do their... They can't even do their jobs in the other room because they're too busy laughing at you now. Oh, what happened? Derek, Eric? will you please play the clip for us? We have some... There, 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 there it is. There's Derek. 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 It Wait. Works for Derek. Works for Derek. Wait, Steve, what, what's the problem? Yeah, Steve? You have to get the teletype editor. No, he's got them in two channels, and the one channel he keeps hitting ah. doesn't come up on, on this board. Yeah, but what, what do you mean? What's the, what, why is he not hitting the right channel? Uh, I don't know, Jimmy. The fact that... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Steve, my, wind, my windscreen went under the thing. Uh-oh. Pick up his windscreen, for Steve, Christ's you're sake. the mic it's now. It's Francine's Hang legs. Up. I don't know what happened. Pick up that big black thing. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. There you, go. They, you just entertained that room. Oh, Eric. my God. That's All right. right. Let's, All uh, let's have Derek play the room. teletype, Anthony. Thanks, yes. Derek. Derek, if you will, why don't you uh, play it? Thank you. Good now, boy. Francine with the news. Francine. <sighs> okay. Uh, I went to the movies, so I'm going to do some new movie reviews for you guys. It's always how they start off the news. Yeah. Absolutely. With Isn't that the, the last thing review. they do? Although when Star Wars broke, uh, they did, you know, do, that was the lead story. It wasn't quite a review, but it was... All right. All right, let's Rutter go. Rip. Sorry to movie reviews with Francine. There's a volcano right now erupting in Mexico, but let's hear the movie reviews. <laughs> wow, nice. Thank you, Jimmy. Let's hear your Caddyshack review. Go ahead, Angel. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'd like to send a big fuck you to the faggots who advertise that movie Layered Cake, comparing it to such kick-ass flicks as Snatch... And lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. It was terribly confusing and awfully gay, gay, gay. How many shots can you show of Daniel Craig? The whole movie is just filled with body shots and close-ups of Daniel Craig's face and body. You should change the title of the movie to a Midsummer's Faggot's Dream. Terrible, terrible. Also, the interpreter... The last all right, wait, wait, wait. That's slow a long down. title, First Francine. All. all right, slow down. Well, yes, Voss? Well, I mean, Snatch and the other one, Lock, Stock, are, aren't really classics. They're not up there with Snatch Underwater Snatch was a front. great I movie. I love classic, movie. Classic, though. Snatch really gets Francine. better and better, especially the dialogue. She completely lost me. I know. Well, that's the beauty of Francine. I have no idea what movie she's talking yeah, about. Yeah, what's the name of the movie? It's called Layered Cake. It's from the Does same anyone know what Layered Cake's about? I have no even? idea what you're talking about. Give me a synopsis, Eric, of Layered Cake, please. I didn't even know there was a movie out called Layered Cake. Layered Cake? Well, I'm a big Snatch and Lock Talk fan, and it's the You're same producer. You're a big producer. fan of Snatch, are you? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and Lock Talk and Two Smoking Barrels. They were great movies. So when they said the producer so, came out with a new one, I came Yeah, but the producer doesn't mean shit. Well, that's, I thought it would be the same kind the of movie. The producer is just a guy that goes, here's a bunch yeah. of money, make me a, a good right. film, and I'll kind of yeah. take a peek every once in a while. They're, they're not it's involved. It's called Layer Cake. Layer Cake. Layered Cake. All right, Anthony? It's called what? It's called Layer Cake. Layer with an E-R? Well, L-A-Y-E-R. That's how you spell layer. Layer sure. Cake. Do you have a synopsis, Anthony? Or? Uh, let's see. A successful cocaine dealer planning an early retirement is lured back into the business by a love interest and an international drug ring. Yep. That that's explains it. it. Mm hmm And it has uh, Daniel Craig in it. Yep. Uh, who you might remember from... Yes, Ant? <laughs> <laughs> Looking. <laughs> he was exactly. In, he was in that film... Uh, the Daniel Craig story? Yeah, and then there was that other thing he yeah. did when he... Uh, he, um... Yeah... Wow, I am really looking. And um, Well, according to RottenTomatoes.com, Anthony, I love RottenTomatoes.com because they take all the reviews from America, from all the papers, and then they, they throw it all together. Wait, go up first of all. Uh, ah, they give it a fresh, uh, a fresh rating, Anthony. That means, well, in this case, 79% of all the movie reviews across America actually liked this film. Liked it. Liked it a lot. Mm. It's hard to remember an American gangster film that has been... As brazenly entertaining as Layer Cake. Layer Cake is a fabulous movie 
about the underworld uh, we only want to visit on film. Huh. A must for those who like their tough talk delivered with an English accent. A stylishly dark, occasionally funny UK gangster film in the tradition of John McKenzie's The Long Good Friday and Peter Medak's The Craze. It goes on and on. The film's style makes up for its difficult story. I guess you have to have a brain to watch the movie, uh, Francine. Well, I watched it and I tried to figure it out by myself and it wasn't good. It Why is the main character's name like XXXX? They didn't give his name until, well, they never did. They never gave his name? Yeah. Here's nice. This could be the problem for you, Francine. Uh, this review from, uh, I guess, a site called Three Movie Buffs. Fast-paced and complex, Layer Cake rewards those who pay attention. Ooh. Mm. We know you've had a problem with that in the past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It just goes on, on and on. Most uh, movie reviewers love the movie. Yeah. Well, well, I didn't like it. Well, she didn't like it, Anthony. Yeah, it was really terrible. You should start with a movie like Donut. Donut. And then work your way up. What's that Layer about? Layer cake is very complex. Yeah, Donut was layers. a great movie. You never heard? Oh, you never saw Donut? Something like no. Pop Tart. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> even tried oh. throwing another pastry <laughs> in. I knew it too, Donut. How many how many frosted treats will he toss in before he hits that wall? <laughs> Munchkin. Roller. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. God. <laughs> Zeppelin. Did you see Zeppelin? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, jelly oh, donut. Slower a pace. Mess. I liked it. Uh oh. Think. Something's here. Oh, 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 oh. oh. You're seeing boxes of uh, maybe I, maybe shirts? I certainly am, and a really good looking Are those UPS the shirts? Man. No. Those aren't no. the shirts? No. You know what? damn well the shirts aren't going to arrive today. What is it? I already, I already figured that well, out. What is it? Something else. What, what is it, Eric? What is it, Eric? Travel cases for the instant Ooh, travel oh, cases. Great. Very nice. All right. So, Fran- with UPS. so let's get back to Francine. You didn't like, right. uh, you didn't like Layer Cake because it was a uh, what? Well, I went, I went to see it, and I sat down, and I tried to figure it out, and I just couldn't figure it out. There was too many, like, things going on, and they weren't really connecting the story properly. She's right. Because of her, I now want to see the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be good. It has to be good. But I figured out Snatch and Lockstock, and they didn't even go in order. All right. Why would it go in order? Well, it was kind of like, you know how uh, that guy who does other films that Pulp Fiction stuff, you know how it doesn't go in order? Like Tarantino? Yeah. Yeah, the film is all over the place, and it kind of gets tied up at the end. I figured those movies out. You so. figured out Pulp Fiction? Yep. Yeah. It went backwards. Well, in some spots, yeah. Sure. What was Pulp Fiction about? Oh, uh, drugs and killing and hamburgers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she re- like she really whittles it down to the most common <laughs> she denominator, certainly does. doesn't she? she? Well, there's a lot of breathing and people talking and communicating. <laughs> but she figured you know, it out, Anthony. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yep, and killing. And a lot killing. Of killing, yeah. killing in so it was very good. Someone tape Fox News are doing uh, all-time faves. It looks like all-time favorite villains or something like that. That oh. could be very interesting. In the movies? Today. I think so. Because a lot of people saying Darth Vader the best villain ever. Yeah. Um, maybe, yeah. I, I, like I think in the Gene first Hackman in Batman. Um, <laughs> well, I sh- uh, maybe I should have thrown pastry in with it. No, nobody. Don't try Gene? to make yourself look better by picking I'd out like on to, my I'd like to hold on. I'd like to know who Gene Hackman played in Batman. Yeah, he played. He, you don't remember? Oh, Superman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. No. Hold on. And, and by, to answer your question, 47-year-old man, no, I don't remember. <laughs> You remember? No, I don't. Child speak. <laughs> oh, is that when Batman came in and he said, oh, Hey there, Mr. Luthor, you're in the wrong movie. <laughs> you're supposed to be paralyzed. Oh, Lex Luthor. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Luthor. Wow. All right, well. How'd you like Christopher Walken in Cuckoo's Nest? He was fantastic, wasn't he? <laughs> ah, you know, throw the sink through the window. Ah. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> wow, where did it go from there? Back to Francine, I guess, who figured out Pulp Fiction because it's about killing drugs and hamburgers. And hamburgers. And right? guns. And guns. All right. Well, let's move on with the news, I guess. The big Kahuna Burger. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. That Hawaiian joint. Frank Whaley, by the way, that was. He, he used yeah. to come in a Boston Comedy Club, yeah. and the boss was mean to him. 
wasn't mean to you him. You were a dick to him. Yes, you were. He was a nice guy trying a little stand-up for a movie. Oh, really? Well, I was on stage or something? He was also in uh, some gangster movie. He was in a movie called Swimming with Sharks oh, with Kevin great, Spacey. Man. Yeah, I saw that one. Great actor, yeah. Frank Whaley, and that yeah. was him having a big kahuna burger. I wasn't Say what again? You were busting his balls like you always do. And I was nice to him. I didn't even know who he was back then. We didn't know who he was. Okay. Francine, with the news, back to the teletype. Sorry, okay. Congratulations to Eva Long Gonorrhea. All right, hold on, hold on. What, what happened to the rest of the movie reviews? Oh, I could continue, too. Yeah, of course. I hope you have something on Star Wars. It made Anything all sorts Star of money. Wars? Yeah, I do. I do a little piece. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, also a terrible fucking movie, The Interpreter. The last time I ever see a movie starring Nicole Kidman it was garbage. So, uh, basically, I hated these two movies. They were total douchebag flicks. Zero action made no sense. No thumbs down. Better off staying home, watching porn, and jerking off. Oh, wow, that's something you don't get when you watch Epert and Roper. No. Yeah. Nope. Well, or Roper and Epert. I don't or, know. It's or <laughs> the live one and the other one who doesn't have mush in his head. <laughs> oh, man. It was so much easier when it was Cisco Plum and Ebert. skull. Yeah. <laughs> what is it now? Ebert and Roper? I don't know. All rice pudding brains. <laughs> he sneezes. He's all sloshing around in there, shaking up, and it snows in that little town. It's just brain matter. <laughs> I think you should put a little Santa Claus scene on his brainstem. Uh, All right. Well, what about what do you got on Star Wars there? Well, that's gonna come up next. All right. All right. Okay. Here we got go. gotta say congratulations to Eva Longonia and her Desperate Housewives counterparts and their success this weekend. Uh, approximately 30 million viewers tuned in to watch their season finale. I wasn't one of them, and I don't know one other person that was either. Me neither, but I I read it. Ah. So you copied it. No, listen to oh, how she read oh, it. Oh. Long she never disappoints. Go ahead. Thank you. Long Horia, who is skanking it up, has been linked to just about every <laughs> dick in Hollywood, include boy, including boy bander J.C. Chavez, oh basketball. Oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, wow. That's the way to go to court. <laughs> just like Phil Spector. You did. know, I, I'm sure you got it in your local yeah. paper. The Phil Spector do that he's wearing in court is just beyond hilarious. Don't you just want to grab his head and go, <laughs> and make a wish? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> he really is. Horton hears a sexual abuse and a murder. you got to love Fox News. They just did a split screen of how he used to look all relatively normal with his hair slicked back and his sunglasses and then looking like, I don't what did he look like? Just with a massive afro. I won't kill here. I won't kill there. Oh, my God. Sorry about that. Where are you that. going? Where are you going, boss? You're going to smoke in the middle of the show. <coughs> Stop coughing. Oh, he's going to go after a cigarette, and then he's coughing. Yeah, don't, you're not going anywhere for a cigarette. You relax. Are you Jones in that bed? When are you going to quit smoking? Really? Let's go back to this news. This is All right. Uh, go ahead, Francine. All Pick right. up where you left off, if, if, if you could. Uh. Ugh. Right there. Okay. I don't know. Down. Someone wants to know if we could go back to the big Kev audio from the, oh, <laughs> the Star Wars premiere. That was great. Kev asked some pretty funny questions. I listened to those. Shut ones. up. <laughs> what did he say? The one Shut guy, up. He said, uh, hey. All right, Francine, go ahead. Okay, uh, she's been linked to J.C. Chavez, basketball player Tony Parker, actors Butch Klein, Sean Ferris, and now Hayden Christensen, who plays Darth Vader in the new Star Wars Episodes Three: Revenge of the Sith. Which has raked in approximately $158 million this weekend. Number one movie. Ooh, ooh. That's She's all happy. A paycheck for me, she, Robin. <laughs> Did Should you, continue? That's all you have on Star Wars? The, one of the biggest that's movie it? releases in recent memory? Did you see it? No, I didn't go see it. I'm going to go see it. But not yet. Not yet. What? Uh, Did you see the first two? I saw the very first one with... Uh, oh, boy. This could be a problem. Harrison Ford. Oh, you right. haven't seen any since then? No. Wait, I might have seen it on TV, but I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. What's okay. it about? Star Wars? Yeah. It's about the stars and and spaceships right. and fighting in the sky and uh -huh. a guy in a cape who carries a big sword. It's a lightsaber, right. Yeah. It's kind of like a sword. Yeah. 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 
off by 40 centuries. <laughs> and they're in the future, and they do lots of fighting. Mm-hmm. Very good. No hamburgers? When are you going to turn 10? <laughs> is this the third or fourth Star Wars? I think it's the sixth one, isn't it? Of course it is. Thank you, Francine. <laughs> Jesus, Francine. Of course it is. <laughs> Foss is way off. This is Battle of the Dummies. It's <laughs> happening right in front of us right now. <laughs> How many? <laughs> Number six. six. Did they call it the third or something? No, don't, nobody answer. Nobody acknowledge you heard words. Just let it sit there. I didn't see any of them. Didn't they Forty-seven the years old. You never saw the first Star Wars? I never saw any Don't Star you Wars. remember when it came out? <laughs> don't you remember? Isn't this called? What's this called? What's the name of this one? Star Wars what? The Revenge of the Sith. S- S- Revenge of the Sis. S- 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 yeah. Darth Vader so has a lump that, on his balls. So the, ba- the back of my ear is in the movie. Sorry. Revenge of the Sis. S- there goes the Photoshop. <laughs> Everyone at Whackbag's like, thank you. Thank you. Go to Whackbag.com in the Photoshop oh. segment, or section, I should say, and uh, prepare to see some Revenge of the Sis. Revenge of the Sis. <laughs> Brilliant. Six of them. All right, so Star Wars is a movie about stars, Anthony. Yeah. And fighting and, and fighting and swords. And swords. Cool. Yeah. Right. What was JFK about? A wig and a car ride. <laughs> the airport. <laughs> it was about the parking situation. <laughs> <laughs> David Ferry's riding around. You just, where are you going to park? It's an enigma trapped in the middle. <laughs> you a handsome parking attendant, Mr. Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> and a big ta-ta. Uh, <laughs> all right, well... Okay. All right. Revenge of the Cyst. And, um, and what else you got there? Um, former diva Mariah Scary turned psycho bitch from hell is back on the Billboard charts once again with her new album titled The Reemancipation of Mimi. Scary, who should have committed suicide way back in the early 90s, is trying to change her skanky image. But although talented, every year she seems to be turning into an even more and more self-absorbed psychotic cunt. <laughs> Case in point, Mariah went on record in Essence magazine claiming to be America's most misunderstood black woman. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mariah? That is such bullshit. You are not black and you are not white. You're just fucking crazy. Mm. Wow, a little editorializing there. Yeah, I like that. I, you don't hear that on the news that often. I mean, no. I, one, one time I heard Dan Rather refer to someone as a hose bag, but he never actually went with yeah. the full C word. Not any real potty mouth, except for that uh, Arthur Chang guy. Yeah. Whatever his name is. What the fuck is your problem, Mariah? Con- <laughs> Jesus, Francine. <laughs> <laughs> She's all proud of herself. Thank you, guys. Yeah. You're doing yeah, a really what, good what job today, got? i got to tell you. Oh, thank you. I try. All right, what else you got? More? Our hearts and prayers go out to the young girl who was assaulted by a horrible monster of a man. (laughs) (laughs) Go ahead. Uh, Hector Ramirez, who dragged her, uh, this unnamed girl, out of her room in an understaffed Bellevue hospital, took her to an empty conference room, molested, and raped her. (laughs) <laughs> With surveillance cameras and two eyewitnesses, how did you expect to get away with this? Well, That's I'll tell an you. Attention getter. I'll, I'll tell you how you can get away with child abduction and molestation. Mr. Ramirez, first, you get a time machine. Go back 46 years and come back as a young black boy. Next, become a famous pop star. Fast forward 25 le- years later, slowly but surely turn yourself white and start obsessing about Peter Pan. You ever Next, seen a grown man naked? Build a giant amusement park filled with candy and carousel and candy kitty rides and proclaim yourself king of pop. You get my point. You don't have enough money or fame to get away with this crime. Ramirez, you are fucked. It's a lot of time travel just to do oh, a little molesting. Sure. How about buy a van and get a mask? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mighty. I was referring to Michael F. Jackson. Oh, you were? Yeah, we saw oh, that. Okay. That was I, very clever. I didn't think, thank you. Yeah. It took long enough to get there. I didn't understand. You are the most misunderstood black woman in America. Not you really think Carrie. so? Yeah. Thank I have you. no clue what the fuck you're saying. What else you got? You worked all night. There has to be I a few more. D- I did work all night. 
anti-American spirit up in the Middle East. Uh oh. And Newsweek report of the flushing of the Korean down the toilets by U.S. soldiers has only made matters worse. Last week's story. <laughs> this is why. Flushing of the what? The Korean. Korean. The this Korean. Wait, wait, wait! I didn't. What was that? The Koreans, the, the Bible book. They have a Bible of their own. Yeah. It's called a Korean. And a what's crayons? in that? What's in that Bible that's different than Wait, our what, Bible? I don't even understand what she's saying. A crayons? A Korean. Koran. Koran. Yeah. Okay. The Bible book. Yeah, it's a Bible for the Muslims. And what kind of stuff is in that book? You think? Well, there's probably creation, and. Uh, I think my dad told me that theirs is different because it has a lightning story in the beginning, and it's very confusing, opposed to the Bible, which starts off with dark darkness, and then it goes into lightness, and then God creates, like, the earth and people. But yeah. they have lightning. That's great. Then lightning. What, then mm -hmm. what happens? Um, I forget because the story is a little bit too long. But the guy running with a kite? Yeah. No, but there's lightning, though. <laughs> right? Yeah. Lightning. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Okay. It's probably the same story. Okay. What's, right. what's wrong, Brad Pitt hair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see what's going on. Nothing. I, I gave Eric an update on the shirts. Oh. What's, 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 well, we, we'd like an update. Yeah, yeah. what's the update? Um, uh, sure, buddy. Thank you. Uh, apparently the shirts were here at 7.55 <laughs> this morning, but uh, um, the security wouldn't let them upstairs in the freight elevator. Why is that? And why didn't they call somebody? or uh, whatever. I don't know. Eh, no big deal. Hmm. All right, well, we're well, going to have the, the shirts. We're going to have the shirts soon the for the uh, tens of people outside the studio. Yes. They uh, really are sticklers in this building, that old drunk downstairs. Well, I bet if it was a bottle of fucking Jack that showed up, you'd let it down the freight elevator after you emptied it into your liver. <laughs> Is this your fucking Night Watchman uh, Harry Chapin song? All right, let's go, Francine. Shithead. So what happened? Newsweek reported a story about uh, their Bible being flushed down the toilet. Yep. And what happened? And they're going crazy over there. So this is why I don't understand why our president, George Bush, has allowed the lovely First Lady, Laura Bush, to go on a quote-unquote goodwill tour to Jerusalem, where she's greeted with crowds screaming, Why are you killed? Your husband killed Muslim, and you're not welcome here. While visiting such sites as the Western uh, Western Wall. Well, here's my theory. Uh oh. This is President <laughs> Bush's attempt to get away from First Lady Laura Bush, so he can get closer to that sex pot, Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Seems as though Bush is trying to get the black tail. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like Francine, she goes for the racial angle. I kind of like that. See that angle being played, right? All right. That's very, very uh, clever. Once again. Do you think so? I really do, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I got one last story. <laughs> All right. One last story. Yep. And um, coming, that's with C-U-M-I-N-G, to a laundromat, nail salon, and public schools and cinemas near you are free condoms. And his fight to stop the AIDS, Health Commissioner Thomas, Friedman said yesterday, we can stop the HIV epidemic with the tools that we have today. Yes, we can wrap those tools up. Mayor Bloomberg, who said he supports the progressive plan to fight AIDS. The what? Proge progressive okay. plan to fight AIDS. will review the plan after a public comment period, but it's not clear whether there will be any protest against the politically thorny issues of condom distribution even though there have been protests in the past. Uh-huh. And that's it. That's it? An excellent job. I really wow. didn't follow that last story. Something yeah, I didn't either. Yeah. She lost me. Free yeah. condoms everywhere. Yeah, I know, but I was kind of like, who cares? Cool. Uh, who cares? So what, we're just going to be throwing them out on the street and you just pick them up if you walk by yeah. and see one? No, but it's it's so that people can use them like at clubs and stuff. Right. You're Opposed to clubs, you're and bars. At, uh, nail salon. Right. Yeah, so that's good for people who can't afford them. You ought to give them the, to Bellevue uh, orderlies, <laughs> just in case, you know, you see something you like and, you know, you want to take what's yours. Take your pick. No reason to leave DNA all over the panties. Right or wrong, guys? laying around anyway. That's right. Might you gave well. one to your dad. <laughs> <laughs>
terrible. Oh, I don't know why that guy's in trouble. You wouldn't get in big trouble if you went and stuck your dick in lettuce or in a, a t tomato or a carrot. Right. Let's go to Matt in uh, Nevada. Matt. Matt? Yeah. What's up, Matt? Hey, I was going to ask if Voss and uh, this woman went to the same high school. I didn't go to high school, stupid. Yeah, then? I quit. Yeah. <laughs> Started my own business. All right, thank you, Matt. Ow. Wow, he's so angry he had to slam the phone down. This chick Easy. is making me dizzy. Uh, does this girl have a mouth full of blue balls? Yeah, Could not... she be more stupid? We love Francine. She's yeah, but she had nothing on, like, uh, Britney Spears or any of that other stuff going on. It took me all night to Is this a new it. trainable video clip? And, yeah, Hollywood Nova from Whack Bag, well, we'll let him on here. Hollywood, go ahead. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. Hey, check it. Um, where, where's the sports, Francine? Where's the sports? Oh, uh, the Pistons beat somebody last night. 81, <laughs> 81 That's right. 90. That's right. Yeah, Pacer fans. All right, the Pistons beat someone last night. Hey, There's a new NBA team called the Someones. <laughs> I forgot which one. Well, that would be, uh, I believe, uh, the Heat. Okay. Yeah. Fuck the Miami fans. Fuck you guys. You guys will not win. Shaq is a bitch. Rasheed Wallace will dunk all over your fucking asses. Well, Shaq was a little injured. He's just coming back from a little uh, thing. From uh, a little thing injured. there. Hey. Hey, guys, it's the playoffs. Everybody gets injured. You got, hey. Dude, you got to say, Shaquille, how dominant he is, man. After he left the Lakers, I mean, they just stink. Hey, like, um... All right, listen, I, we, we got to let you go because I see a FedEx man outside the studio. There's a lot of yelling and screaming going on. A lot of uh, finger pointing going on, Anthony. There's Poe out there. And I see Poe out there, and I see a couple boxes of shirts. Have you uh, seen any of the videos of Poe at the Star Wars uh, yes. opening? No. With him and the lightsaber no. doing funny? the moves? Yeah. Yeah, Poe is uh, a master Yeah. the lightsaber. All right. Guys, I got to go, to, I gotta go. So I'll see you in D.C. later on today. Where are you going? I had to leave a tent today because I have a, I have, my car was in the oh, shop for wow. a week. Oh, and the loaner... Why? Oh, oh, oh. why? Wow. Well, I wish I could just... do a three-hour day. Jeez. <laughs> You're <laughs> just leaving? I, I have to. I don't want to. I never want to walk out. We're having a great show. But I Wait, Hawk, hold on. But I have to bring my car back because they're going to start charging me right. if I don't. I can't just keep this loner. Well, um, How much can they charge you? I mean, you're a big headliner. You know, an hour that you're going to make an hour on radio. Hey, can we have... Hold on. Let, let me address John Turturro hairdo. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Nothing? Yeah. They gave me the answers, too. I think it's good. Um, yeah, just send these shirts back. Well, let me see one, Opie. <laughs> they're just awful. Wait, let's see. Thing. We got the, uh, this was supposed to be a big deal today. and uh, Would you get that out of the hamper? And we have the shirts in studio, Anthony, finally. And on the front it says, what the F, blank, blank, what blank. F blank blank K is your problem, man. Oh. And then, then on the back it just says Opie and Anthony. Do me a yeah. favor, the next time make the font smaller because <laughs> you can actually read this. Each shirt comes with an electron microscope <laughs> so you can fucking read it. Yeah, way to commit to the the product. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? Jesus. Uh, what the fuck is your problem, man? All right, well, I'll hand them out to the ten people online outside the studio. Yeah, that's, that's good. They said large. Are there any XLs in there, Hawk? Let's hop to it. Find one. And give Francine a shirt. She's lovely. All right, well, uh, before Francine leaves, someone has a, uh, a suggestion. Have you smelled um, the back of Rich Voss's ear yet? It smells like grape jelly. Oh. Have you ever smelled it? No. It smells like grape jelly. It's that stupid cologne you wear. I'm telling you. I know. Dude, she makes the face... Like the guy in the rowboat that's fishing in Caddyshack. Has anyone else noticed what that? that? Oh my! God. You've noticed, right? Oh, yeah. When the when the, the big boat that Rodney Dangerfield's you know driving. Her eyes up real wide. And then yeah. it's and then it splits the the rowboat in half while he's trying to do some fishing. The yeah. the face he makes just before that happens. Francine's been making that face all morning. Yeah. You like blueberries? Uh, only with uh, toast. I mean, the smell of blueberries isn't a nice it's smell. It's more grape jelly, not blueberries. Oh, I'm telling you, it's more grape. You think it's blueberries. Yeah. Behind his ear, it smells like judge. grape jelly. It's, it's, like just it's really cologne. not that bad. We all have done it. Everyone's done it. All right. But it's just stupid because I'm telling you, it's Wait, cologne. Yeah, Francine, stay on mic for this. It's it's really no big deal. Guy, Basically, let me explain what's happening. Uh, Rich Voss is kind of just rubbing behind his earlobe. That's all. That's all he's doing. He's rubbing behind his earlobe. He's getting a little goodness on his index That's finger. stupid grape yeah. jelly and, smell. Oh, that smells like ass. It doesn't smell like grape jelly. Ew. Is, is it bad like today, Rich? Ass. It's like a, it's like. 
You don't want to be in a gross out contest where they can all fucking smash Yeah, it's it's uh it's basically cyst juice. Oh. <laughs> Alright, try it again. No way. Yeah, oh, try no. that one. Try that one. Here, Just one more. <laughs> What's, wrong? Though. What's wrong, Fred? Scene? You didn't... It really does smell like like he just stuck his finger up. Go away, throat. motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, get away from me. <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, Aunt, you gotta take some. I think Aunt no, should take some. No, it's not gonna happen. Don't even fucking start. <laughs> Go away, motherfucker. <laughs> Did Ziggy ever take some? Oh, no. Oh, no? I'm running out. You're, you're running, running out? Ugh. All right, uh, Voss, oh. why don't you go smoke? Jimmy, go get your car. Travis, what's up? Bye, guys. He smell smell the ear. Oh, he hasn't smelled it yet. Do you yeah, have anything left? Oh. Of course he does. Just rub behind the ear again. Uh, Travis, this young go-getter. Here, get Travis on mic, though. Over, over that mic. Don't touch your mic. No, 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 no. All right. Get away from me. Talk to Von Voss's mic, not mine. Yeah, make sure you got a good one, though, Voss. I got all this. I got left. Shut up. It's awful. Oh. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Days. Sometimes people puke when they smell that uh, yeah. finger. But did Bob Kelly ever get any of that? I think Bob Kelly. Wow, Bob would really be good. Yeah. He would really start puking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, old fucking Call old, old Cook, pinwheel Bob. belly. <laughs> that asshole. Hey, Bob, I stepped in shit. Yeah. All right, listen. Brian in Delaware has something real fast. Brian, go ahead. Hey, uh, hey, boys, how you doing? Hey. Hi. Mentioned about uh, Voss's, he's the biggest wuss I've ever seen in my life. You're right. At a show in Baltimore last week. Oh yeah. Where was uh, it? Where was the show? In Baltimore. Oh. He was. Uh, There's a mouse that ran on stage, and I have never seen a guy act more like a girl trying to stand up on a stool. And he ran out in the audience, knocking tables over. Not, it was one table. Knocking down mailboxes, yeah. driving through people's backyards. Yeah, That's there, there baby was. shit compared to what this dude's <laughs> doing. But tell the truth, did I kill? Uh, yeah, you, you killed the mouse? Yeah. No, I killed Wait, dude, dude, this is at the improv? Yeah. Yeah. What city? In Baltimore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm going to be in D.C. soon. I, I wasn't sure if I was out. You're, so this guy was, you, you, you're on stage, hold on. You're on stage yeah. in, in D.C. and a fucking mouse runs. No. I'm... Right, dude? Was it no, D.C.? It was in Baltimore. No one could say it right. All right. Baltimore. And, and, and Voss just freaked out because the mouse was on stage? Oh, yeah. Standing up on a stool, knocking glasses and tables over, running out into the audience. Oh, that's a man act. <laughs> Got a cyst behind his ear. All right, thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Next time, keep your badge on your cyst. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> Could have been kicking that Mr. Voss's ass around a typewriter by now. Francine, could you do our library for Gamefly.com? Sure. Gamefly. Oh, good idea. Not a bad idea at all. Uh, Gamefly.com is so easy. You send a game back, and the next on game on your queue list is automatically sent. It only takes a couple of business days to get to you. Gamefly lets you have up to two games at a time. Games that you can keep as long as you want without any late fees. And if you really like the game you're playing, you simply click keep it in your game queue and you get the mint condition box and manual delivered to you at all at all a great member discount. Go to gamefly.com slash XM to get signed up. It only costs twenty one ninety five a month. But you can start with a free two week trial, no commitment. You can cancel any time. Start playing the latest releases or games you've always wanted to play. And now there is even more of a reason to try out Gamefly for the month of May. Only anyone who signs up for any of their prepaid video game rental plans are entered into the Gamefly.com PSPA Day Giveaway. <laughs> That's right. Sign up in any day in May and you may win... The cool new Sony PSP handheld device at Gamefly. Do you know what the PSP is? The new Sony PSP is game it, held device. Is, what is what it, do you think it is? Is it like Xbox? Well, no. Uh, no that would be no. the uh, other company, first of all. Uh, would it be like PlayStation? Uh, well, that's well, sure. It's yeah. made by the same people. Um, it's a handheld, though. Oh, so it's a small game box. Small game box, sure. Small game box. With, like, you know, 
Like the Nintendo? I like how she went f for the month of May only. Yeah. Anyone who signs up for any prepaid video game rental plans are entered, blah, blah, blah. She went for the month of May. Only anyone who signs up. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss a line? No. Uh, no, not You're really. doing great. All right, continue. It's Gamefly.com, yes. At uh, Gamefly.com, there are 2,500 titles to choose from. See, Xbox, PS2, GameCube, GBA, DS, and the new PS2 games at a time. No shipping fees, what? charges. Either way, keep the games as long as you like with no leak fees. All the games you want, go to Gamefly.com. That's G-A-M-E-Fly, F-L-Y dot com. Slash X dash M and plug in XM in the promo code box for your no. special offer. <laughs> no, there, there's no dash. <laughs> it okay. says that it's like. <laughs> by the way, I. Gamefly.com slash XM. Oh. By the way, I said game held. It's a handheld. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, all right. Well, I think they. I think she got the info out, no? What? Do you know what you just read? It's Why don't you summarize for everybody? What is Gamefly.com, basically? Don't look at the script. You just read it. <clears throat> uh, what did you comprehend from uh, that reading? Uh, it looks like it's rental games. Okay, rental games, right. Xbox mm -hmm. right. and PS2 and yeah. game boxes, and there are many game boxes, PS2s, uh -huh. and uh -huh. Xboxes that you're renting these games for. All right, and where do you rent them? Gamefly.com. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Francine. You're welcome, guys. Thank you. Life in Corporate America.